How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and in today's video we're going to be discussing the history on the coins and money used in Nazi Germany. We'll be taking a closer look at the currency used during this period, how it affected the economy and how it reflected the ideology of the Third Reich. The period of Nazi Germany was one of the most unfortunate times in the world's history. Between the years 1933 and 1945, Adolf Hitler was the leader of the Nazi party. He tried to conquer much of Europe, causing the deaths of millions. However, alongside his efforts to control people, the economy of Germany under Hitler's regime underwent a massive change. One part of this change was the use of coins and money. The paper money banknotes and the Reichsmark, the official currency of Nazi Germany that were circulating had to be changed or replaced. And in this video, we are going to explore the history of the coins and money used during this period in time. Before we do get into it, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification so you can see my new videos as they are being released. In the past, I've made several videos detailing the history and values of Canadian, American, Australian, British, and coins from all around the world, as well as Canadian coin roll hunting videos. So if you would like to check some of those out, it would really help me out and support my channel. All of that being said, what do you say we get into today's video and cover the history of coins and money of the Third Reich? Let's get it, guys. During the Nazi era, coins were still extensively circulated and used alongside banknotes. In 1924, the German government replaced the old currency, the Mark, with a new one called the Reichsmark. The coins used for the Reichsmark were different from those used during the Mark era. The Nazi regime also introduced several other new coins. For instance, instead of the half Reichsmark, they introduced a two Reichsmark piece. The design of these coins featured Nazi insignias such as swastikas and German eagles. From 1933 to 1939, the coins featured the national symbol of Nazi Germany, the swastika. The swastika was not just included on coins, but also appeared on other items produced during the Third Reich. For example, the SS and the Nazi party used it. The year 1936 was the first time the Olympic Games occurred in Berlin, and the German Reich minted the Olympic Games commemorative coins with motifs of different sports, although the swastika remained prominent. Nazi-era coins also enjoyed a high degree of artistic design with beautiful engravings by the best of Germany's engravers, making them some of the most attractive coins of their time. They featured prominent German figures such as composers Beethoven and Mozart, thereby honoring German cultural heritage. The metal used to mint some of these coins showed how the economy was doing. For example, zinc alloy coins were used during times of economic hardship while the economy was booming, coins were made of silver and gold. Once the Nazis gained power in Germany, the use of money, specifically paper money, changed. The Reichsbank had to change the designs on the banknotes, adding only Hitler's images and other Nazi symbols. Banknotes bearing past German leaders, such as Paul von Hindenburg, were replaced with new notes featuring Hitler. In 1933, a new Reichsmark banknote was introduced in denominations of 100, 500 and 1,000 Reichsmarks, and in 1935, the Reichsbank issued 5, 2 and 1 Reichsmark notes. One unfortunate element of the Nazi economy was the massive inflation that occurred. Thus, in 1937, 50 and 20 Reichsmark notes were printed, with a redesign of existing notes also taking place. When the Nazi party introduced the Reichsmark, it was intended to restore confidence in the German economy and to support Nazi policies and military ambitions. The Reichsmark replaced the old German mark at a rate of 1 to 1, which meant that people could exchange their old currency for the new currency without losing any value. The Nazis also introduced a new banknote, the Deutsche Arbenfranz, alongside the 2, 1 and 50 Pfeffning denominations. This banknote was unique in that it featured workers and labor activities instead of Nazi symbols. The Reichsmark was not a regular currency. It was designed to reflect the ideology and symbolism of the Third Reich. The front of the currency featured the image of the words Deutsch Reich, German Empire, the Eagle and the Swastika. The Reichsmark wasn't the only form of currency used in Nazi Germany. 
In fact, the Third Reich used a variety of different coins and bills depending on their intended purpose. For example, there were often commemorative coins that were designed to celebrate important events or propaganda messages. These coins were made of silver or gold and highly valued by collectors today. There were also wartime currency notes, which were issued when paper was scarce due to the war effort. These currency notes were printed on low quality paper and featured images that reflected the struggles and victories of the Nazi regime. They often included militaristic slogans and propaganda messages which were meant to inspire the German people to support the war. Perhaps the most interesting aspect of the currency used in Nazi Germany was the emergency money that was issued during the war. As the war dragged on and the German economy was strained, the government began issuing a variety of different emergency currencies that were meant to supplement the Reichsmark. These emergency currencies were often printed on cardboard or other low quality materials and they featured strange denominations and imagery that reflected their dire circumstances of life. For one example, there was a series of emergency notes printed on cardboard that featured the faces of prisoners of war from different nationalities. These notes were intended to pay the prisoners for their labor, but they were also meant to serve as a reminder of the superiority of the German race. Other emergency notes featured images of tanks, planes, and other symbols of the war effort. Despite the variety of different currencies used in Nazi Germany, there was one constant, the use of money as propaganda. The Nazis understood the power of currency in shaping public opinion and they utilized it to great effect. Every Reichsmark, every commemorative coin, and every emergency note was designed to reflect the power and might of the Third Reich. Aside from banknotes, commemorative money was also produced during Nazi Germany. This type of money was typically issued to commemorate special events and influential people, such as Hitler's birthday, anniversaries of significant events, or to commemorate notable academics or other key figures. After World War II ended, the Allied forces changed the currency in Germany and introduced the currency in use presently, the Euro. The Nazi-era coins and banknotes lost their legal tender status, however collectors can still buy them as collector's items today. In conclusion, coins and money played an essential role in the economy during the Nazi regime. The Nazi economy experienced several changes, which also impacted the coins and money in circulation. From 1933 to 1939, the coins featured the swastika, a prominent Nazi symbol, while also celebrating German cultural heritage. Paper money was replaced with banknotes bearing Hitler's image and other Nazi symbols. Massive inflation caused by the Nazi regime saw the printing of new denominations in banknotes. Even today, Nazi-era coins and banknotes are still sought after by collectors, but they are definitely some of the most taboo items in the numismatic world. One of the things that most people don't understand is that when Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party took control of Germany in 1933, they inherited an economy that was in shambles. The Great Depression had hit Germany hard, and many people were struggling to make ends meet. Inflation was rampant and the German mark had lost much of its value. They were a reflection of the ideology and symbolism of the Third Reich and they were used as a tool of propaganda to shape public opinion. Today, these currencies are reminders of a dark period in history and a warning of the dangers of using money as a tool of political manipulation. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification so you can see my new videos as they are being released. I'm going to be releasing some new coin roll hunts as well as some videos detailing the rare and valuable coins from all around the world that you can find over the upcoming weeks. So you definitely want to stay tuned for those. If you guys enjoy these historical videos on the history of coins and new then just let me know what you would like to see down in the comments if there's anything you would like to see me cover in the future I have some ideas that I'm eventually going to release down the pipeline I am definitely excited for that but that's it for this one folks so until the next one everybody peace out and have a good one